Hey, this is Dave from MetalEpidemic.com. Thank you for checking out our YouTube video. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button below if you like this type of content, and we hope you enjoy the review. Guys, Dave here from Metal Epidemic, joined by Duncan and by Kyle for a brand new album review. And for this review, Duncan, Kyle, and I have been checking out the new album from Brisbane Death Metal Quintet Descent. The band's new album Order of Chaos will be released on January 14th via Brilliant Emperor Records. Uh, these guys formed in 2014 with the desire to create a sound influenced by a plethora of sounds falling under the umbrella of extreme and heavy music. Descent is a coalition of members from various bands from the underground Brisbane scene, including From These Wounds, Resin Tomb, Feculent, and Sn Snorlax, and several others. Um, since the release of the Quintet's first demo in 2015, Descent have constantly performed throughout Australia, opening for bands like Cattle Decapitation, Dark Funeral, and Code Orange, I mean, many, among many others. The band released its debut album, Towers of Grandiosity. Uh, via Redefining Darkness Records in 2018 and toured Japan with The Crown and Origin later that year. Um, the second album, Order of Chaos, was recorded by guitarist Brendan Ald, mixed by Kurt Ballou and mastered by Mr. Brad Boatwright at Audio Siege. <sighs> Love you, Brad. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Is that what we're doing this? Or we're just making sure that we get that in on every review now. I yeah. like it, I like it. Yeah. yeah. Um, no so, favourite shown here at all, Dave. No, no, not no at all. Not, no no favouritism. Um, <laughs> although, <laughs> although this band are kind of classing themselves as like a primarily like a kind of death metal band, there's also a heavy grindcore streak uh, to this release. Um, I'm a big fan of grind. Um, I adore bands like Pig Destroyer and Nails and Full of Hell. But um, I think I think one of the kind of big issues within that genre is that there are a lot of bands that don't really have any distinction um you know that could be easily mistaken for another grindcore band so mm -hmm. i'm always kind of curious as to how each new band to the scene decides how to kind of tackle that um some don't you know some just like mm -hmm. this is us this is what we play so i can like it uh, or not um and we've we've had you know a lot of grindcore bands over the past couple of years just stick to that blueprint some um, bands introduced the element of a beaver uh, yes they did yes they did keeping it fresh i like that um and i think i think it's enjoyable to an extent it's you know it's usually heavy as balls and like full of venom um it, it you know it does what it says in the tin but um a lot of the times those albums don't really kind of stick with you afterwards um you know there was nothing really not overly kind of memorable about them um on order of chaos um descent certainly like tick all the the boxes in terms of like the heaviness and the aggression um it's, it's packed with like utterly ferocious riffs and like breakneck drumming um and the vocals just sound like they've been dragged through fucking broken glass um but I, what i liked about this is they they do have a kind of balance on here so they've especially in the kind of tempos they've got going on um most of the tracks kick off like all guns blazing um but they do take you through like a nice kind of variety of different speeds on each track um and when they do kind of drop down a gear into something a bit slower I'm a bit kind of meteor. It, it, it sounds great. It sounds really full and thick. Um, those big like chugging riffs on tracks like drag. It, it, it's just like really kind of filthy sounding. Um, but what I what I kind of liked about this most was um, there's a, a kind of a little dash of uh, of special sauce. You know that they've added to the added to the mix. Um, you know something just to kind of try and kind of set them apart from the kind of sea of other grindcore bands. Um, and that kind of comes in in the form of a, a more kind of like blackened kind of tone, um, and you can hear it, you know, pretty much from the get go on the first track, Tempest, um, on the kind of most like ferocious parts of the song. The riffs definitely give off a more like blackened kind of death metal vibe, um, and I, I enjoyed that side of it. Um, they they don't push it too much; it's not overpowering, but it's just enough for it to give it, you know, a different kind of slant. Um, I think like highlights for me would probably be um, Fester track five. Um, I think the uh, the transitions on that track from the kind of really like dissonant grind into those kind of blackened parts are probably at their most kind of fluid on this track. 
Um, I liked the, the kind of choice of chords. I thought they worked really well together. Um, and I think vocally, it's one of the best tracks on the release. Um, there's a, a nice kind of variation of different like kind of tonal registers from um, a guy called Anthony Oliver on that one. It goes from like really kind of guttural into like very kind of high pitched kind of shrieks. Um, which, you know, at times it was like almost kind of verging on almost like a kind of black metal kind of territory. Um, but I think he, he pulls it off really well. Um, and I think that track also shows more from the band dynamically. I like the, the there's a kind of minimalist part in the middle where they can just let it simmer a bit for before hitting you with that big heavy ending. Um, and I think they place that track perfectly on the album because it has that like kind of breather type moment on it. Um, I could, my other highlight was probably um, uh, Despotic. Um, which had a really cool structure um, and I got some really like kind of heavy Vorvan type vibes um, on that track uh, from some of the almost kind of like hardcore type kind of rhythms on it um, obviously production like I think it, the production fits like a glove to be honest I think having like Kurt Ballou and Brad Boatwright doing your, your mixer and mixing and mastering it was 100% the right decision um, both of those guys are ideal for the style I think they give it plenty of grit and authenticity, um, but I think, like, I think you've got to take your hat off to the guitarist Brendan Ald. I think he's done a really good job on the actual recording of the album. Um, you know, as they say, you you can't polish a turd, um, so I think the the bones of it have to be kind of good in the first place. Um, and I think he's done a really good job there. Um, I think, like overall, this was a fairly enjoyable listen for the most part. Um, I think it contains a lot of the elements you'd expect and want from a grindy kind of death metal album. Um, it's not perfect. Um, I don't think this release is maybe quite as memorable as albums from bands in that kind of like top tier or upper echelon like Big Destroyer or Nasum. Um But those bands have been making albums for over 20 years. So, um, But I think the, the fact that Descent sound like this um, and are as kind of confident on their, their of their abilities on like their second album is a positive sign that there will be kind of bigger things to come from these guys. So um, yeah, for a grindcore album, yeah, I enjoyed it and I enjoyed that little kind of blackened kind of streak that they added into it. I thought it was just enough to do a little bit something different that um, you know it's not like it's never been done before, but I did I did like that kind of addition to the sound. Um, How do you guys go on, Duncan? What do you think of this one? Tight and thick. Yes, tight and thick. <clears throat> Which is how I describe <laughs> this album. Uh, you <laughs> thought I was going to go dirty with it, and I didn't, I just, Dave. I kept I it clean, clean for the listeners, <laughs> <laughs> my peeps. Um, yeah, like I, I was, I, I was unsure of what to expect, like from the full album after the first track. It's mm. not something I would normally sit down and uh, partake in. Mm. Uh, overall, the like grind is not always my my scene. I like the bands that try and use it as elements as opposed to be fully embracing of of the genre. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot to like in here. That, I, I mean, there really is the like, like as it mentioned before the tightness. The 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 work specifically between the, the drums and guitars are awesome. Like mm. really, really, really good. I love the guitars are cheeky in parts. Like really, really <laughs> cheeky. Like you're getting this build up and then they start doing like that reverse. Sweet picky thing that they do when like, like Gojira Take sim. Scripts, yeah. That's the one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, they, when they started using them just before they, they come in with these bludgeoningly heavy riffs, there's a great, like, grip. Whether you like or loathe Grenko, the one thing that you can never complain about is it being boring. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll always have switches and changes in tempo, and they mm-hmm. actually utilize them in a really good way here, but they also have a real groove about them, which I like, and they know to try and grim the songs in that groove. So as yeah. ferocious as they get, they are aware at one point you will have to bring it back to something, mm-hmm. uh, which is more kind of groove based, is more kind of brought back, and that's a good anchor point for all the songs. So I think that works really, really well. Mm-hmm. It's obviously aided by great production here. I, I I think this is maybe on the heavy side for what I'm used to hearing in the in this sphere of like kind of grindcore bands. So they they certainly have far more oomph. Mm. behind them vocally this dude is ill sounding <laughs> like he may want to have his throat checked um and he just like i've said it before certain people can do certain tones that mean they have to be like a death metal vocalist you know <laughs> what i mean like but some some people can just make sounds that mean that they have to go there and he's found his calling it works really 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 well on this mm. um 
can't say that I always understood what he was singing. Uh, but he was angry about it, so I, I, I felt that come through. I think this is perfectly timed in terms of it. It's not even 30 minutes. So it really yeah. does get in, get through, power through. And if you're starting to get to a point where you're like, oh, maybe this is starting to get a bit samey, the album's finished. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like that to me, had there been even one more song, I think it would have been pushing mm-hmm. pushing it for me. Um, but yeah, I think like not something I would generally listen to, but I think they're, they're, they're definitely more than on the right track in terms of what they're doing. They don't necessarily... You hear the influences without them trying to sound like their influences. Yeah. Um, I think the song compositions are really good. I really like the guitar work. I think the drummer is a tank. Uh, vocalist is great. Production is great. Um, I will score it based on that. You know what I mean? It's not the genre I would generally sit down and listen to, but, you know, game respects game. Uh, so... Uh, still laughing at Mikhail. Uh So yeah, I'll be. I, I thought there's a there's a lot in here to like, even if you're not acclimated to the subgenre. Mm. Okay. And King, there's a lot to like on this album. Definitely, um, I like all the technical stuff on this album a lot. I like the production's great. The recording is great. The performances of the songs and everybody on the instruments is really, really good. Marshall, of course, is amazing. There's a butt coming. There's always a butt coming. You can see these faces. I'm going to turn around and show you my butt. This is a video recording. No, all that stuff is really good. And I like the butt. Yeah, here's the butt. (laughs) I hate the guitar tone. Oh, oh, really? Oh, and no. I hate the music. I, it's just, I don't know. It's not for me. I just absolutely couldn't get along with it. I love all of the technical stuff. I was like, this sounds really good, you know, production wise and mastering and all that. And re- mm. the dude recorded it himself, and it's fucking fantastic. Really good job on all that. But man, I, I just, I, it's not for me. <laughs> it's just not. I listened to it a few times, and I was like, I think it's the blackened element. I think for me, it's just a step too far. It's like yeah. it's an annoying, scratchy fucking guitar tone that's just digging into my ears, and I hate it. <laughs> I'm just, you just can't get on with it. And I mean, there's some good moments, definitely. There's some like parts where the guitars pull back and the bass comes through, mm. and then and then I quite like that because that is a meaty fucking bass tone. And there's some good like good chuggy moments, like all right, cool. But then it just comes back with that scratchy guitar tone, and I just can't get along with it. I could mm. not get past it. I tried so hard, but. Other than that, yeah, most of the stuff's great. I'm sure if you're a grindcore fan and everything, you're going to love this, but because they do stand out from a lot of grindcore I've heard. Mm. They're definitely unique in the genre, so... But for me, it's just not my thing. It's just like, mm. I can't really say much more like, they're a shit band, they suck. It's like, they don't suck, they're really good, but I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. No. Okay, um, so ratings for this new one from Descent. Um, yeah, I, I like this kind of stuff. I'm, I'm a bit of a mark for grindcore, to be honest. Um, and I liked that little extra kind of twist, the, the more kind of blackened sound. I think uh, it was enough just to kind of shake things up a little bit. Production's great as well. Like, Kurt and, and Brad on the production is spot on. Um, I'd probably go 4 out of 5 on this one. I did enjoy it. Um, Duncan? Marginally lower than you. I'm a 3.5. Like I say, not, not the sort of stuff I would generally listen to. Mm. Um, but... Uh, loads of stuff that I enjoyed here. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would. Come, this is one of the, the few in this genre that I would come back and listen to mm. uh, when I really need motivated to kill someone. Um, <laughs> you shove this on, and you're in the zone. <laughs> nice. Uh, Skipped. Uh, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like I said, everything's good and they, they've done it very well. It's just not my thing, so three out of five for me. Okay. No problem. Um, so that is Descent, uh, their new album Order of Chaos, which drops on January 14th on Brilliant Emperor Records. Um, if you want to check out the band, um, I'll put links below to their Facebook and to their band camp so you can check out the pre-order and stuff. Um, let us know what you think if you've heard any of the tracks. And once you hear the album, stick your comments in below. Happy to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. That is the review. Thank you for checking out. Much appreciated. We'll be back with uh, another review very soon. But until then, take care. Speak to you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.